everyone, John Craig here with Performance Plus Tennis. Welcome to today's video where we're going to break down the great serve of young American Ben Shelton and show you some of the things you can incorporate into your serve right away to improve your serve performance. So we're going to move right here into his, his setup in the back here. And you can see that he's on his front foot and he's going to shift to his back foot uh, to start his rhythm. He shifts back and his hands follow his shift back. This is really useful to get you into your rhythm of your serve recommend you do that, get that little flow going, it's a little bend in his back leg there. And you can also see that his back foot is well positioned behind the front foot, so it sets him up to be in a good sideways position to start his serve. So make sure you get set up that way, okay? It looks really good. And you see how he shifted his weight back, and now his hands will come back and they'll separate away, and he'll go up. And here's the key thing that's so important, is that he's leading with his tossing hand. You'll see that his tossing hand is leading while his racket arm and hand is lagging, lagging down while this is rising. It's so important that you get the sensation and the feel of placing the ball first and swinging the racket second. And we'll explain that a little bit more as we go through the video here. And you'll see as he goes into his move here, he moves off the open, open foot position and he goes into a pinpoint stance, which is terrific. It's a great load. Look how he gets so loaded into this position. My goodness. Um, Pretty tough for most of us to get this kind of almost really 90 degrees of knee flex. Uh, it's not necessary to get that much, but a good knee bend is certainly helpful to launch yourself up into the serve. But um, this trophy position explains in part a lot of what he does so amazing. Uh, is a tremendous uh, load up in his legs and uncoiling he's about ready to make into the ball. Okay, You'll also notice he has a super strong stretch with the right arm up towards the ball. And he's in a great position to really uncoil and load himself into the shot. So let's watch and see what happens next. And you'll see that his move, when he decides to make his move, his right hand will turn. That's, we explained that in another video here. His right hand or his tossing hand will turn so his palm faces his target. And that sets up his shoulder to be very powerful as he pulls it away. And you'll see the right hand will pull away as the racket falls. This sequencing allows you to get the shoulder over shoulder action. That combined with this amazing leg drive. Look how his, look how his legs are driving up. His legs are driving up while his racket is falling. This sequencing is critical to creating the stretch position he gets into here where literally the swing has no choice but to explode out of his back up to the ball. So this is a really critical piece. The load here and the sequencing of his draw leg drive and his, and his right arm pulling away is what's enabling him to get this beautiful rise up into the ball. See, he's rising up, the racket's falling, it's going one way while the body's going the other way. In particular, his left shoulder's coming up and around. That puts him right in this perfect position. And at this point in time, his arm is completely relaxed. It has just been going along for the ride from here all the way through contact. It's just going along for the ride that his body's creating. So you've got to work on getting that body involved more and letting the arm just follow the body around. Now we go into his swing. You can see he's on edge. This is critical that he's coming on edge to attack that ball. That's a beautiful razor's edge he's got going there right at the ball. That's exactly what we want. And you can see he's still holding that edge as he gets closer and closer to the ball. And only when he's about to make contact does it turn over through the ball, and there's your contact, and then through the ball is pronation. And you can see here, this is critical to note too here, that watch the wrist. What has the wrist really done here at contact? Nothing. It really has only extended, it has not flipped in any way. All this power is coming through the shoulder. Look at his, look at his forearm here. You can see right here, his extensor muscles are right here, they're visible right here and watch them rotate towards the target. There's your power. Once you come up to the extension, let that shoulder rotate the racket through contact and there's your acceleration. And only when the ball is gone may he have a little bit of wrist movement because the power has to go somewhere. So there it is. Okay. So let's take a look at it again in a couple different viewpoints here. You'll see him in a few more from this angle. Beautiful leg flex. Watch that right hand face the target and then pull away. And notice here how at the racket, when the racket's at the bottom, you can't quite see it here, but when the racket gets to the bottom, its lowest point, it almost matches 
He's tossing him. You just can't see it. And we'll show it for, to, you, to you from a side view in a moment. But he, um, you know, the, the myth that you keep the tossing arm up is just a myth. You've got to get the tossing arm up for sure. But that's so you can pull it away and create this tremendous shoulder rotation and drive up into the ball. So when you blend together the pull of the right hand for him being a lefty with a leg drive, look at that explosive swing up to contact. Look at that beautiful on edge right to the end. Goes across the ball and look at that long axis pronation out through the ball. Beautiful. This is where his power is. He gets all this set up, drives up, pulls away, accelerates through a, a super loose arm, and there we go. And now finally from a side view, we're going to take a look here again. This is very revealing. Beautiful load up. Look at the beautiful steep angle he gets. And again, this is mostly driven by his right arm, which really is leading as he goes into this movement. You'll see it leads with the right arm, and it leads, leads him into this beautiful angle. Now he's got his legs flexed, and now watch that right hand pull away. Watch it pull away. Look at the palm suddenly face the camera. It turns, and it puts power in his shoulder to pull it away. And now here we go. So when the racket gets to the lowest point, we can see very clearly that the right hand or his tossing hand is not that far from being at the same level as the racket head. So uh, avoid the myth of trying to keep your tossing arm up because it will just block you from getting this tremendous rotation that you see him get. In fact, we'll, we'll identify that motion a little bit. So in his loaded position, you'll see that his shoulder is in this position here, this hitting shoulder. And when he makes contact, look where the shoulder is now. My goodness. That's from the leg drive mostly and that pulling away of the right hand that allows that tremendous shoulder rotation. So that's really what you're after. So tremendous, tremendous technique. Um, it, you know, obviously being professional, we can't all get these ranges of motion, but if you work on all these little things and get a few degrees of range of motion out of them collectively, you're going to have a lot more power on your serve. If we go back here, you'll see that when he makes contact, he's also got this beautiful angle. You can see he's maintained this angle where his right shoulder is now dropped away and his left shoulder is up there nice and high. Look at the here where they've reversed here. Look at the reversal of those shoulders. Okay. So we go back from the side view. We can take a look again. This is just critical that we use these techniques to get the power. So we're going to go from this angle, tremendous angle, and now we're going to go and reverse that angle. Oh my gosh, he gets so much shoulder rotation into his serve. So that blended with leg drive and a loose arm. The technique is beautiful and that's how he gets so much power on his serve. So thanks so much for watching today's video. I mean this is a great model to try to really use on your serve. Um, try to use these techniques and these uh, principles to develop your serve into a more powerful weapon. Uh, please leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and um, We'd love to hear from you. I'll reply to any comments that you leave and uh, give us a like and stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming here at Performance Plus Tennis and we'll see you in the next video.